Here we go, folks. Today I've got three exercises for you to help you with low back pain. I am Dr. Brooks Stiller, the Healthy Hunter, and these are the three, the top three exercises I give to every patient that comes to me with low back pain. Now while we've got a bunch of exercises that we can throw at around and, and that we see a lot of them advertised with six-pack abs, the ones that are the most important that really focus our core are going to be these three. We're going to do a bird dog, we're going to do a cat and a camel, and we're going to do the McGill curl up. So let's start off, we're going to do the bird dog. Now just like your favorite bird dog is going to do the pointing move when they see a bird. That's what we're doing here. So when we're on our all fours, we'll call this tabletop position, so shoulders, knee, and the hand are in a straight line. Your knee is directly below your hip and your knee and hip are about a 90 degree angle. You're gonna start this tabletop position. Just gently tighten up your core. You're not really doing a big contraction, just enough to hold yourself stable. And then you're gonna reach one hand up. And this is gonna get you, your hand is almost in line with your ear, a straight line. Then from your hip all the way to the tip of your finger, and then the next step is to put your leg back. And as your leg goes back, you should have a line from the tip of this finger all the way through your body to your heel. Think about pushing that heel back to the back wall and reaching forward as far as you can. And you're gonna replace that. And then you're gonna swap hands. So you do right hand with left leg. Hold that just for, you got a count of three replace then left hand and right leg okay this is great to challenge our stability and our dynamics as we're unstable because we're on the reciprocal pattern next we're going to the cat and the camel now the cat and the camel is one of those that i really like to do especially after a hard day you've been sitting a lot and you just feel stiff and stuck once again go in that tabletop position and from here we're going to tuck, tuck our pelvis under as we tuck our head down. It's gonna give us that camel look, arching the back, taking that back and kind of pushing your, your back and spine up as high as you can. Kind of pushing into the ground. Hold that for about a three to five count and then you're gonna come back out of it. But as you come out, you're gonna look up as you're starting to tilt your pelvis the other direction and driving your spine down towards the ground like a scared cat. So you're gonna go back, nice and easy, just back and forth. And so that one is really good when we're stretching out, when we're uh, making sure that kind of you wake up and you're stiff and you're like, man, I, you know, something, I did something yesterday. That's gonna get us moving. Now the last one is probably one of the most important, one of the best, but little known, is the McGill Curl Up. Now with the McGill Curl Up, uh, this is one of those that doesn't require, you want one leg bent with the foot on the ground, the other leg is gonna be laid flat. If you have pain in one leg, have the leg that has pain radiating down it flat first. Now we're laying here, everything is flat. You can take your hand or a towel roll just to simply put up underneath the low back to kind of keep that neutral posture, that little curvature in the back. And now what we're gonna do is tuck your chin down and then just slightly raise your shoulders a few inches. Okay, we're not doing a full curl up no, no movement from, from say mid, mid torso down. There should be no movement, except you can feel those muscles contracting, but no movement of the spine. So all we're doing is barely bringing those shoulders up and easing back down. So hold for about a five to 10 second count. Tuck the head, shoulders up. Do about five, eight each side, swap legs. And that is going to help us make sure we stay strong, healthy, and stable 
throughout our core and our back all season long.